Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and, of course, analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around for a bombshell revelation that's about to shake the very foundations of the ongoing royal drama. Today, we're diving into the mysterious world of Omid Scobie and his questionable ties with none other than Meghan and Harry. Brace yourself, we might just be on the verge of uncovering some shocking truths that could redefine the narrative. But stop right there before we disclose all the juicy details. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Believe me, what's coming next is worth waiting for. So now I had the pleasure of having a riveting conversation with my dear friend Catherine, a paralegal from LA with a keen eye for legal intricacies and in the insider perspective on the entertainment industry. Our discussion led to a thought-provoking question. Has Omid Scobie been exposed to an employee of Meghan and Harry? But before we delve into the intricacies of this, let me introduce Catherine, a legal mind with experience in the entertainment industry, making her the perfect person to shed light on the legal nuances at play. So I asked Catherine, what were the key indicators that made her question whether Omid is more than just a journalist? Thus explaining her point, Catherine points out that Omid's language and carefully chosen words in interviews raised red flags. Despite claiming not to be friends with Harry and Meghan, his unwavering support and intimate knowledge of their lives suggested deeper possibly contractual relationship. Catherine then points out the classic double talk and the peculiar emphasis on not being friends, leaving room for speculation. The conversation then shifts to Catherine's experience with non-disclosure agreements. In the entertainment industry, she draws parallels between Hollywood's practices and the potential use of NDAs by Harry and Meghan. Catherine emphasizes that while signing an NDA doesn't automatically imply employment relationships, it does indicate a level of privileged information. As the discussion unfolds, Catherine highlights Scobie's deliberate actions, such as strategically sending the manuscript to a Dutch publisher, making it challenging for the royals to sue him. Catherine further speculates that Meghan, seemingly distancing herself from Scobies publicly, might be playing a strategic game by creating an illusion of separation. Now let's be clear, this discussion is rooted in opinions, conspiracy theories and speculations. We don't have concrete evidence of a formal agreement, however the dots are intriguingly connected, leaving room for a riveting narrative. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis. Bye for now.